lot about you out there, right? All this legend bullshit. They got some stories, though. People wonder if you kill somebody. That ain't wondering why you've been in here so long. I wouldn't move, though. I, I'd stay for the quiet, you know? You don't hear nothing in here. Our place got these noisy neighbors. The kid's always yelling because he's only a year old. Or the pops is yelling because the kid's making noise. And then mom's on top of that is yelling. But then that's a different kind of yelling because, you know, that's what the old man's playing the tools for. And she got her head banging up against the wall. She'd be screaming like, ah, ah. You better she... stir that soup. What? Stir the soup before it foams up. How come Oz never gets anything on it? Come on, come on. Closer. Closer. Now. And you got somebody doing that kind of yelling? What I have here is an adult male. Quite pretty. Probably straight from the park. A Connecticut warbler. You ever go outside to do any of this? You should have stayed with the soup question. The object of a question is to obtain information that matters to us and to no one else. <laughs> you were wondering why your soup doesn't firm up? Well, probably because your mother was brought up in a house that never thought about wasting milk in soup. Now, that question was a good one. In contrast to, do I ever go outside? <laughs> Which fails to meet the basic criteria of obtaining information that matters to you. All right, man. Guess I don't have any more soup questions. No? Why'd you say all that stuff before about me being black? It had nothing to do with you being black. It had everything to do with me finding out just how much bullshit you'd put up with. Oh, so you knew I'd come back? Yes, just like I know you'll go to this new school. Well, how do you know that? Because there's a question in your writing suggesting what is it you wish to do with your life. And that is a question your present school cannot answer for you. 